Hi, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. This might be hard to believe, but there's mounting evidence that AMD's next generation GPU, codenamed Big Navi, could in fact get very close to or beat Nvidia's top card, the 3090. There was a leak yesterday on Reddit which revealed some very specific information on Big Navi as well as other cards in AMD's lineup. The leak included information on the compute units, the clock speeds, and also the total draw power, which allows us to estimate the likely performance of these cards. Could AMD really beat Nvidia this time around? Let's find out. Full credit goes to Reddit user STBLR for this leak who pulled the specs out from drivers in the latest macOS 11 beta. The information included specs for existing cars the Navi 10, but also Navi 21, Navi 22, Navi 23, and Navi 31. I filtered this information out into the most important information to us gamers, and that is the specifications of the card. As has been speculated by numerous sources online already, Navi 21, codenamed Sienna Cichlid, is an 80 compute unit die that could very well be the RX 6900 XT. And if you watched my previous video from a few weeks ago, it's likely there's also a cut down 72 compute unit die that is 10 to 15% less performance that could be the RX 6800 XT. According to this Reddit information, Navi 21 could have a GPU clock of around 2 to 2.2 GHz. This sounds reasonable as we know the Xbox Series X, which is also an AMD RDNA custom GPU, operates at 1.8 GHz. This means if the clocks are accurate and that performance scales well at these high frequencies, the RX 6900 XT is getting really close to RTX 3090 performance. Taking the Xbox specs, we know the Xbox is a 52 compute unit custom RDNA GPU at 1.8 GHz, resulting in 12 teraflops of processing power. So if we do some basic math of 80 compute units over 52 compute units, which equals 1.53, and the clock speeds, which is 2.2 GHz over 1.8 GHz, and that equals 1.22, and we multiply those two together, we get 1.87 times theoretical performance increase based on this information. And that would mean approximately 22.5 teraflops, and when you compare that to the RX 5700 XT, it would be around 231% better, and that puts it around 97% of the Asus 3090 Strix, and literally 1% better than the Gigabyte 3090 Eagle, meaning that according to these leaked specs, the RX 6900 XT is basically equivalent to the RTX 3090. Now, a lot of this is theoretical performance, and it could potentially disappoint, particularly if performance tapers off at high clocks or performance just varies from game to game. That said, Mark Cerny, during his Sony PS5 conference, did say that lifting the clocks higher mean a general boost in performance of the other aspects of the GPU, and not just shaded performance, so there is potential for higher clocks to turn out well. If you just calculate teraflops, you get the same number. But actually, the performance is noticeably different because teraflops is defined as the computational capability of the vector ALU. That's just one part of the GPU. There are a lot of other units. And those other units all run faster when the GPU frequency is higher. At 33% higher frequency, rasterization goes 33% faster. Processing the command buffer goes that much faster. The L2 and uh, other caches have that much higher bandwidth, and so on. Now in terms of memory for the RX 6900 XT, I've done my own digging around and this one is still a bit of a mystery. The leak says Navi 21 supports both HBM2 and GDDR6 and I think AMD will go with GDDR6. Because Big Navi has caught up in terms of performance quite significantly, I don't really see AMD using HBM2 memory here, particularly if it's still as expensive as it was when AMD used it last generation. Back then, AMD were playing catch up and had to keep power down with their Fury and Vega cards. But if AMD can get close enough in terms of performance and the TDP is reasonable, I think they will go with GDDR6. Red Gaming Tech believes almost certainly they will go with GDDR6. 
If that's the case, they'd have to go with a 384-bit memory bus on Navi 21, and as both Red Gaming Tech and Moore's Law is Dead puts it, use a higher amount of cache to make up the difference. Keep in mind, GDDR6X runs at 19.5 gigabits per second, and while GDDR6 can run at the higher 16 gigabits per second, that's still a 20% difference. As for the RX 6800 XT, this could be the 72 compute unit model. That is 10 to 15% less performance, so that would compete with the RTX 3080. And if they keep the 384 bit memory bus, which allows for 12 or 24 gigabytes of RAM, and it starts at the same price as the RTX 3080, that would make it a very interesting battle. Moore's Law is Dead also says a variant of the 60 compute unit GPU would be coming out and I have to imagine this is very likely given that this would be a little bit better than an Xbox Series X GPU and it would directly compete with an RTX 3070. AMD wouldn't leave this segment of the market wide open for Nvidia. Navi 22 then is really interesting because this is a 40 compute unit GPU but with a really high boost clock of up to 2.5 gigahertz and would be approximately on the same level as an Xbox Series X GPU. I see this competing at the $349 mark while the 60 compute unit GPU could be around $499. AMD could play with prices in this region to really put the squeeze on Nvidia to capture vital market share. And while we all love enthusiast grade hardware, the mid tier is a huge battleground for AMD and Nvidia in terms of revenue. This is really going to be the sweet spot once again for PC gamers. And while just in terms of pure price to performance, the consoles can't be beat, I think an $800 PC with a 40 compute unit GPU and Ryzen 3600 or 3700X is going to be a solid option for most gamers in the coming year. Finally, the leak also revealed the total draw power for these cards, and if these are true, then these are very impressive. Navi 21 would be 238 watts for the top card, and 200 watts for perhaps the 60 compute unit version, and Navi 22 would be just 170 watts, making for a range of cards that seem incredibly efficient. So, final thoughts. In my previous video about Big Navi, I speculated that it would be possible that the top 80 compute unit GPU could compete with the RTX 3080, but the RTX 3090 may have been a stretch, mostly because I made an assumption that it would have a clock speed similar to the Xbox Series X. But looking back at that video, there were tweets and forum messages from Chipel that strongly suggested it could be RTX 3090 performance. I have to say, I just didn't believe it at the time, but with RTX 3090's slightly underwhelming performance, and going by this leak, AMD has a shot at competing at the top with the RX 6900 XT. Alright, that's it for this one. Make sure to click the like button if you liked the video, and also to subscribe to this channel for more gaming videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.